Please welcome the lovely Maggie Gyllenhaal, everybody. Maggie Gyllenhaal. excited about this film because my friend Emma is in it and she was there that was her that was her Emma Thompson she's here tomorrow night she told me yeah. she told me she was gonna tell me a story about you but then we couldn't catch up in time I wonder what it might be something rude <laughs> Yes. Well, you mustn't believe all the stories you hear about the enormous endowment. Um, <laughs> um, it's just a rumor that I started. I was wondering if, um, yes, if I could have your sexy fireman calendar. Uh, oh, you the one that Betty White brought? Sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually. I think I think it's here somewhere. Hang on. Uh, there's a Did I mention I'm single? <laughs> Jeffrey Peterson, he's a, yeah, he, he'll be all right. Here, I've got this, and here's a mask. No, not exactly what I was looking picture for. Picture of Liza Minnelli. <laughs> this I'll take, I'll take picture this Picture of uh, Eddie Izzard. <laughs> no, I can't find my sexy fireman calendar, I'm afraid. I'll keep this one. All right, then. That, I keep that because it looks like me. Huh. <laughs> Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Is it, oh, is that the, oh, bring it on out, would you? Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Thanks. Thank you, Margaret. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Do you enjoy pornography, is it, Maggie? Is it really signed? No, it's not really signed. <laughs> and also, some of these guys aren't really firemen. Oh, that's disappointing. Really? <laughs> Thanks, though. I, I, that's I, that's, I that's fine. That. So, are you a big collector of uh, male erotica? No, but I do kind of have... I kind of do have a thing for firemen. All women have a thing for firemen. I know. Yeah, no, I that, that's a, no, you know why. I don't know if it's a, if it's like a rescue me kind of fantasy or something. But I'm married, happily married. But I have like a little. Yeah, thing but for you're firemen. happily married to someone. But would they would be able to rescue you from a burning building? I think so. <laughs> I think so. But you can look at firemen. It's okay, right? In a calendar. Sure, or on a should website, we, should or. We, should we talk about? <laughs> I feel like this is verging really far from the topic of my the child the children's movie that I made. <laughs> well, that is true. So, would you have sexy firemen in the, uh, in the no, Nanny McPhee none, movie? Absolutely no. not. I like the the first Nanny McPhee movie. It's very good. Yeah. I did too. I did too. And, and I think that ours is better. Oh wow, that's <laughs> that's them's fighting words. Uh, you, did you make it over in England? We did. I'm sorry, my voice went high there. I was thinking about the sexy fireman calendar. <laughs> We did. We made where, it. Where in England? In London? In London and Oxfordshire. I used to live in London, you know. But you're Scottish. Yes, sadly. An American now. So I American heard. too, yeah, I got my tattoo. Did you Everyone, get yours? No. Oh, you have the, the broken snake. Oh yeah, I got the broken snake and then I've got this tattoo here as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have any do you have any tattoos? No, no, not a one. Would you ever think about getting tattoos? I have been thinking about tattooing Mrs. Sarsgaard in the small of my back. <laughs> but presumably your husband, Mr. Sarsgaard, will be the only one to see it and he already knows. Yeah, but I felt like that would be like a great gift for him. Get him a hat. <laughs> Mrs. Sarsgaard yeah, hat. Mrs. Sarsgaard. I don't know if that would World's have the same effect. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that would be rather nice, actually. Yes, you should have yourself inked. I don't know. I don't know. I've been thinking about it. I kind of thought someone gave me as a wedding gift a, a, a tattoo that said Mrs. Sarsgaard, and I thought, on the small of my back, that'd be pretty hot. You mean a, a tattoo? They, they sort of drew a tattoo. Oh, right. You know, See, they didn't actually take some human skin <laughs> and... <laughs> I was like, you had a serial killer come to your wedding? Put the lotion in the basket, congratulations. That would be kind of creepy, wouldn't it? That would be yeah. very creepy. It puts the lotion on its skin. I like doing that, I don't know why. You can do it again if you want. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, all right. So you were in London. I love London because I, like, uh, uh, I like the Indian food in London. Yeah, someone was telling me that about you. I didn't have Indian food at the right places, but I love... I'd never had great Indian food, but I love London. You did have good Indian food in London? No. You want to go to uh, Le Port des Andes. Did you go there? No. Well, that's where you go. It's, the, it's French for the door to India, mm. and that's because in India, that's where the curry started, you know. 
Uh, Indian food started in India. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. The door to India. The Pope design is very, very nice. Okay. Yeah, very, very pleasant place. I loved. I love London. I've shot. You know, my husband shot a movie there, and I've th I've shot two. I'm going to shoot another one there in the fall. Really? Um, Did you yeah. have, do you have a house over there? No, no. But yeah. I, I love it. Although, well, you know, there are those kind of language things in oh, yeah, which yeah. kind of really can get you in trouble. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say Fanny? Uh, I love that one. Yeah, yeah. I know, <laughs> I know. Because you can say Fanny anything. You fanny like? pack. Fanny, Fanny pack. I know. Oh, a girl Hola. named Fanny Singer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think, I don't know how she'd do over there. But over there, Fanny is a rude word for a vagina. <laughs> yeah, no, this is the one that happened to me. Um, on a movie set here, they call it a touch-up if they touch, uh, you know, if they fix your makeup. Mm. And everyone just says that all the time. But I, uh, there, they call it checks. Checks. You know, do, can someone do checks on Maggie? And that means, you know, to fix my makeup. Touch you up, yeah. And, um... I didn't want to say checks because I thought I would sound really pretentious and I should just talk like an American person. But it mm. turns out that to touch you up means to fool around, you know? Yeah. Like, so so I was saying, can someone touch me up? Is there someone? <laughs> Here, the American girl wants someone to pat her on the fanny. <laughs> Where do you live then if you don't live in, uh, in, in London? Do you live in the United I live, States? I live in Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. That's in America. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's very nice there. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been to Brooklyn in years. It's gone all posh now, hasn't it? It's nice there. Yeah. My, um, my mom grew up in Brooklyn, actually. Did she really? Yeah. You don't sound there. like you're from Brooklyn. Mm, no, I grew up here in California. Really? Yeah. yeah. Which part? The valley? No, do I sound like that? No, no, no. I just it's the it's the only part I know. I didn't mean to uh, not that there's anything wrong. Oh no. I look forward to your letters. Anyway, the, the, so what part did you grow up in? I grew up um in the kind of the east side, like Silver Lake and Hancock Park. That's very cool over there. That's where people have little beards and That's play the bongos. How I got yes. So cool. <laughs> but I, I haven't I haven't been living here in years. I moved to New York when I was seventeen and I've been there since then. And I was born in New York. Really? Yeah. Mm. Whereabouts? You know, what are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? Being born requires very little skill. But I have also birthed someone who was well, born in New York, more, which more required skill, a yeah. lot more Actually, skill. having a baby is, is, you know, is admirable. Just being born? Come on, we've all done it. <laughs> um, so, so, so... What age is your, is your child? What age is she? Mm. She's almost four. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, you got her a gun or anything yet? Have I gotten her gun? <laughs> no, but it's interesting, I think, how that just comes up. You know, she's, she said to me, she said to me, uh, I'm interested in guns, she said. Good to know your kid's a little American. You got a little American like that. That must be reassuring. I think she has a couple kids in her, in her class who've been, you know, playing. Well, that worries me, actually, the idea of kids playing with. Yeah. They do, though. I don't know where it comes from. I mean, we're pretty hippie, you know. She's not going to be having any guns, but it comes up. Do you eat a lot of vegetables? I do. I eat a lot of do vegetables. Do you eat exclusively vegetables? Not exclusively, no. I see. So you're... A meat eater. I am a meat eater. Mm. <laughs> you know, that, I'm waiting that means, for where this is going. No, no, no. I just that means something completely different in Britain. That's all I mean. Uh, Again, this is a children's movie. Yeah, I'm no, I'm sorry. Right. No, absolutely, you're sure. absolutely right. And a very good children's movie. The last one was, and this is the sequel to it. So every, it's great. It really is. It really is. I mean, it's kind of a. You know, I, I've been starting to watch kids' movies because my well, daughter's yeah, four. Well, yeah, I do that all the time. Huh? Um, you have children? Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Why, why wouldn't I have children? <laughs> I, was, I was just a little concerned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, Actually, my wife's expecting another one. Oh, really? Yes. H how far along is she? Oh, she's not pregnant. She's just waiting by the bus stop in case one day. <laughs> uh, she's uh, she's about, about 15, 16 weeks. 15, 16 weeks? Yeah, yeah. So she's, she's passed the first trimester. Yeah. How's she feeling? Um, great. <laughs> in no way short-tempered. <laughs> Beautiful in every way, glowing every day. A vision of loveliness from dawn <laughs> until dusk. I actually think... I was in a better mood pregnant. Actually, my wife's handling very well. She's, she's good at it. She's kind of what was around the house, kind of enjoying it. I yeah, think. it gives you those hormones that make you not worry about being fat, make you like kind of, it just chills you out. I you have know, them. You.
You had those. <laughs> Fancy an awkward pause? Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> we sometimes when we have the very good actors on, we do an awkward pause. Oh. Yeah. And then come in close on me. Yeah, if you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, it's a special instruction. That means you move the camera. You know, you you, you move a little bit closer. <laughs> is that what's happening? I don't know. They... <laughs> yeah. There you go. Zoom in. Make it a little more tense. Put some music on it. Do we have any music? Oh, I'll do it. And they'll never get it in time. You ready? <laughs> Very slowly closer to us, huh? <laughs> nice to see you again, Fanny. <laughs> this is um this is the longest I've ever been on a talk show. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Maggie Jillen Hall, everybody. We're right back. is an Oscar-nominated actress. <laughs> That's how you get an Oscar in this town. Oh, yeah. Her new film, White House Down, is in theatres June the 28th. Take a look at this. <laughs> Maggie Gyllenhaal, everybody. Maggie Maggie, you look wonderful. You look terribly elegant and beautiful and uh, effortlessly chic. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going for. Really? <laughs> Have you spent a lot of time in France uh, in the world of fashion? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Yeah, hey, too little too late, buddy. <laughs> we were doing this thing. Our faces got a little close there. I got a fright. Did you see that? <laughs> you were like adjusting in your seat and your face came close and I went like that. I went, oh, we're going to make out. <laughs> and we didn't and the moment passed. And it scared you? It frightened well, you? it scared me a little bit because I was like, where, where am I going? What's happening with us? <laughs> I'll keep myself right over here. No, no, you can help yourself <laughs> to anything I've got, but I... Uh... <laughs> Still, the movie looks like a real thrill, right? That's Channing Tatum in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's I met true. him, you know. Was he here? No, but he's coming here actually for this next week. Yeah, yeah. But I met him in New Orleans. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's I got a bar New there. Orleans. Oh, yeah, me too. I don't know what it's like to be there with Channing Tatum, but it's okay, you know. <laughs> you find yourself kind of disappearing into the background a little bit. <laughs> I'm but, sure that would be my experience. But it's uh, when you're in New Orleans, you don't uh, you don't flash your boobies around to people, do you or anything? I haven't yet. I'm I'm I've never been there for uh, what do you, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras? No, I I went there for the Super Bowl and Mardi Gras was at the same site. I loved it though. I went for Jazz Fest. Oh. I mean, Peter, my husband, was making a movie there. Right. So I was just hanging out, and the whole time was Jazz Fest, and it was amazing. It, it's really an amazing place. I got two tattoos when I was there. I was only there for a week. <laughs> Did you really? Do you have did? any tattoos? Yeah, I have five. Yeah, do you have any? No, I have none. My, You're, my you... mother has a tattoo that she got a couple of years ago. Um, Where? I wonder if I should say. <laughs> I won't say, but well, she's, she's newly divorced mm -hmm. and getting tattooed. Yes, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's nodding. <laughs> That's, that's a very wise horse. He's been through some very difficult relationships. I see with the blue eye shadow. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's tattoos. Uh, <laughs> my Aunt Susan has uh, uh, eyeliner tattooed on her eyes. There's a woman at the airport. Every time I fly to London, she checks me in, and she's got eyeliner tattooed all over her face. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not my Aunt Susan. She doesn't work there. Okay. <laughs> Are you saying my Aunt Susan works at the airport? I'm not saying anything. Yeah, you, did, you just implied it. But she, she, she really tattooed her face. I, I, 
I don't know. I mean, I feel like my makeup, I, well, I wear very little makeup usually. Now I'm wearing a lot, but I, it, I'd like to be able to change it. Isn't yeah, that yeah. Idea? Well, I think it's just in there. She doesn't have it all done. It's just like a little bit under there. Yeah. She's like, oh, I've got a tattoo too. When I told her that I got a tattoo. I'm thinking, I think it would be kind of amazing to, well, I had this one idea for a tattoo actually. I mean, this is, it's bold. But when I got married, mm -hmm. I thought, and I didn't do it, that on like the small of my back, I wanted oh, to girls tattoo. Never get tattoos there. Well, no, Why would you think that? I wanted to do um, kind of big, like in like that cursive writing, uh, Mrs. Sarsgaard. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But he, he probably husband, knows, was. though. And <laughs> that's for everybody else to know. Well, do you know what I wanted to have on my back was a, a, a fox hunt tableau. <laughs> That people have on their curtains of like people you know from like the so the 16th century yes, yeah or, like little Bo Peep people with big yeah, yeah yeah like like some kind of a toile a toile yeah yeah, yeah. A toile. well what about uh, a fox hunt tableau where the the hounds are chasing the fox and the tail is disappearing in your butt cheeks <laughs> oh. I'm still thinking it's it's worth it getting Go it done it. yeah Go for it's it. just trying to find the artist who'll do the fox tail as a <laughs> But I liked New Orleans because I felt it was a very magical place. So do I. I felt that the veil between here and the hereafter was very thin. Yeah, it's not totally America. It's not totally Earth, I don't think. I know what you mean, and I did not party hard when I was there. No, I, I didn't at all. I, I don't. partied a little bit, right. but I had a little kid, and I mean, it was probably the wildest I'd been in a, in a long time. Right. But even so, like even if I wasn't, I wasn't on Bourbon Street, like drinking all night long. No, 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 none of that. No, I'm talking about uh, down on uh, Frenchman. Did you go down there? Where all the music all the music is, is. yeah, yeah. And, that, and there's a great tattoo parlor there if you want your tattoo done. Oh. Electric Ladyland. Uh, uh, yeah, it's. I'm know. not sold yet on the tattoo. Oh but I, come on! But I then. did. Uh, I did love New Orleans. Yeah, me too. I think I might like to go there and just live there quietly. I don't think you can live there quietly. No, I I could live there quietly and you know in a corner somewhere. <laughs> and just watch watch the folks go by. I'd, I'd be a hobo, you know. I'd have a beard and stuff. I couldn't live there. I couldn't live there, but I'd like to go back there. Hmm. All right. That seems fair. Where do you live? New York. Yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you might be Brooklyn. <laughs> Everyone goes to Brooklyn now. Why is that? Well, I mean, at first I moved to Brooklyn because it was cheaper. Yeah, the prices, I guess. Yeah, and also Trump's not in Brooklyn. That must be a big plus. <laughs> I never felt his presence very strongly when I lived in Manhattan. But actually, I lived in Brooklyn in college, and I told myself I would never, I would never go back after I got out, got back really? to the city. Yes, yeah, so I'll never go back to Brooklyn. And now, you know, I, God, I like Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've made me like it. I'm, huh? not, I'm, oh, yeah. not, I'm not sure it's where I'm going to end up. Well, where do you think you're going to end up? That countryside? That is the problem. I don't know. I'd love to live in the countryside. I'd love to live in Paris. Mm -hmm. I'd love to... I mean, I have all these fantasies, but like the reality is I live in Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what, well, what age are you kids? Uh, 14 months and six and three quarters. Yeah, you ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Actually, my, my six-year-old is here in the dressing room with me. What are you saying no for? <laughs> you never met the kid. He, he could be evil. She, 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 she's not evil. Oh, she, sorry. She watching now? Uh -huh. What's her name? Ramona. Hello, Ramona. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking to your mom. We'll be a few more minutes. Uh, and, uh, I mean, then you can get out of here. That's exactly what it's like for her. I yeah. mean, that's the truth. She came with me. She's never come with me before to, to one of these before. And I think that is what she's thinking. Yeah, we'll yeah. Just you chat do, for a do bit. That, and then, uh, then well, that is, that's what it is. She's not wrong. <laughs> she's not. No, no, that's pretty much what we do. We, we do have to show some, com show some commercials. <laughs> I started talking about that just all of a sudden. No, but it's, it's unusual, actually, to be honest, to come on a talk show like this and sort of just talk. Yeah, no. <laughs> it is. It feels like I'm, like, doing it wrong. I mean, usually there's a... No, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> you take a break. We'll be right back with Mike and Dylan Hall, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I was just talking to Maggie about Emma Thompson, whose name came up. Why did that come up? 
she told me she loved you. Mm -hmm. That she thought you were great, and I, I, I really trust her. I don't know if I would trust her, Maggie. I'm just trying to add an air of intrigue. I would no, trust now her. it seems more like a talk show again. Yeah, I really? Like yeah, yeah. I do. Oh, no, here's, here's, what, here's how I'll make it a talk show. You ready? Okay. So, I heard you just bought a house. <laughs> it's funny you should say that. Did you really just buy a house? No, no, oh, no, great. Really That's good. <laughs> That's what they always, I heard you just bought a house, and then they always say, what's the other thing they say? You guys, when on the set, do you all play pranks on each other? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do say that. Yeah. It's like... I hated that when I was an actor and they would say, could you play pranks on each other? I'd go, I, no, it's my job. You don't go into your job and go, woohoo, whoopee cushion under the boss's seat. No, it's funny because it always makes me feel like I'm really boring at work. You're not. No, but I mean, they say, they say, did you play pranks on each other? They're like, no, not really. No, we go, we get up in the morning, we, we go, we go do our job, work. we go home, yeah. But Jamie Foxx actually, he... Yeah, but Jamie Foxx is crazy though. <laughs> I love Jamie Foxx. He's, lo he's very nice. He was here for Django Unchained. What a lovely gent oh, he was. what a good movie. Quentin, no. Quentin, Quentin doesn't make bad movies, oh, in my opinion. I totally agree. He's awesome. I, I love An American Quentin genius. Quentin. Honestly, Quentin Tarantino could ask me to do anything in a movie, and I would do it. I would do anything in a movie or not in a movie. <laughs> uh, I can't stand with you there. No, really? <laughs> All right, fair enough. But I do like Quentin very much indeed. Oh, and his movies are amazing. I know, I know. Did you see Inglorious Bastards? I saw all oh, of them. Oh, man, I love that Me one. Me too. Well, I mean, what could be bad about a movie? It's like it's a bunch of guys, and all they do for the movies kill Nazis. I'm like, this is a great idea. <laughs> my, my friend told me it was Jewish porn. Yeah, well, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I loved it, though. It just it, He's so good. And when he's here, he's so open and, and generous. Well, it's... you know what, actually, I think about him is, you know, when you're younger and maybe you kind of like the things your parents like or like the things your, mm -hmm. you know, your friends like or whoever goes. I remember seeing um, Reservoir Dogs mm. and that was like one of the first movies I saw that I liked because I liked it. Mm. You know, I just, it was, it was my taste. It's, it's a pretty rough movie. I though. Yeah, it. yeah. I was like 14 or something. Yeah, yeah, you're just right in the demographic for it right there. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because my oldest boy is 12. Mm. And he's just on the edge of starting to discover those types of movies. And I'm kind of like, I wonder how that's going to go. <laughs> Probably all right, I hope. Yeah. I don't know. 12 is young. Still, still kind of... Well, I don't let him watch Reservoir Dogs yet. You yeah, know, but not Reservoir He's watching Spongebob and stuff, you know. <laughs> so you've got a very young one, right? Have you done, is it Teletubbies or you no, Gabba no. Gabba? She watches some of the stuff her sister watches. With her sister, though, I've got, I sort of... I, she's gotten like three quarters of the way through a lot of movies that sort of get too dark at the end. All oh, right, yeah. Like like West Side Story yeah, and uh, Platoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are sections of Reservoir Dogs that are good for her. Oh yeah, just, just, just little bits. Forward. Yeah, the bit when they're yeah. in the diner. Yeah, 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 that's that. No, that's, no, uh, that's Pulp Fiction. Uh, yeah. 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 <sighs> well, I could talk to you. I could talk to you all night, but that doesn't work for TV. It sort of seems like it would with you, you know? Yeah, it would, but, you know, CBS were like, oh, we've got to sell stuff. <laughs> what should, then, what uh, should we sell? I don't know. What are you selling tonight? What are you selling tonight, Skippy? What are you selling? Yeah. Boner pills? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. They told me, actually, because they, they did ask me, oh, to ta think of some stories and stuff to talk about with you, and then they told me that you would tear up your card and wouldn't talk to me about any of them. <laughs> but one of them was about this house that I did rent. And I got it from Airbnb, and they said, you can't say Airbnb on TV. So I thought, well, I'm going to come oh, on no. and say it. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, now you're screwed. You'll be fired Airbnb. from show business. Well, you know what else I really like to say? Can I do this, actually? Yeah. I like to say, free pussy riot. <laughs> no? No? Oh, uh, we got to Oh, yeah, we got to go. Free yeah. pussy riot. Hey. <laughs> What's up, Cockadilly? What's up, buddy? I'll just do my thing and then I'll talk, all right? <laughs> hey, everybody, I want to do. Uh, thanks for your enthusiasm. Uh, 
Hey, you know, when you're in that movie, Matthew, uh, Trace Atkins is in that movie. Hey, hey! Now you got something on that. Oh, uh, yeah. Come you can get that out for me. You know, Hang on a second. Why don't you use your own mouth? It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Yeah, thanks, sugar. Now, <laughs> I just called you sugar. How do you feel about that? All right. Pretty sweet. All right. So, listen, a lot of people say to me, Wavy, your accent kind of sounds a little weird and strange, buddy. Where are you from? And I figured I don't really know, but if I asked you, you could tell me where you think I probably am from. I think you got to the Archifalaya Bayou via Scotland. Yeah, that's probably right. <laughs> the Archifalaya Via Scotland. You yeah. ever been to Scotland, buddy? I have been to Scotland. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, what they do you got do? good weed in Scotland, buddy. <laughs> and you know what else? Down in the Archfalaya, you don't have any problem being like, you know, some people don't like to be called like a, like a, like a dwarf, say, don't, you know. Don't call don't, them that. Don't man. call them no, that M I D G E T word, right? But like, do you have a problem? You don't have a problem being called a, a coo nasty. <laughs> you don't have any problem being called a cracker, do you? <laughs> Not at all. All right. Not at all. Because <laughs> that's about where we're at. So. Yeah. I'll call you Poonash. You call me Cracker. Yeah. And we'll be just fine. All right. I think we're going to get along fine. All right. Let's go and, uh, let's go and uh, blow up a liquor store, buddy. <laughs> you get them high, I'll get them low. Yeah. All right. It's going to be a long <laughs> show. <laughs>